Welcome, Bluegrass Fever. Is she talking about us? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Fever, and uh, we've always wanted a song named Bluegrass Fever that we could sing. It's what they call a um, eponymous song, eponymously <laughs> named song. <laughs> so uh, uh, we couldn't find a song called Bluegrass Fever, so we went ahead and wrote one. Uh, I did anyway, so <laughs> this is how it goes. It's called Bluegrass Fever in the key of C. Fever is to blame, and I have put 
Thank you. Here's a tune about a lady who's uh, in love with a guy. Unfortunately, one minute he's hot, next minute he's cold, so she doesn't know where she is. And uh, it's called Crazy Heart. And um, our bass player is going to take a break to listen to this amazing bass player back here. <laughs> from Ireland and it's about a beautiful lady who just so happens she dies and because uh, her husband is a seafaring guy and uh, we find out that our volunteer extraordinaire her name is Colleen and that's the name of this song. <laughs> so, Colleen Malone. This is for Colleen Malone. But this goes out to all the wonderful people out there named Colleen. Oh yeah what a smoothie. <laughs>
this next song Bob's going to do, and it's, um, it's an old bluegrass tune called Katie Daly. Now, Katie Daly, it's an actual historical thing that I'm going to tell you, so pay close attention. <laughs> <laughs> In, I think it was uh, 1842, uh, Mr. Daly came from Tipperary Island, and he brought with him a famous recipe of mountain brew. And uh, he moved to Tombstone City, and he brewed his brew there, and he was doing very nicely until a certain marshal showed up by the name of Wyatt Earp. <laughs> if you remember Wyatt Earp, he had his um, big moment at OK Corral, where he shot the, was it the Clancy Brothers? Or the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> killed all those people. Well, the following week, he shot Mr. Daly for making his, his Irish uh, his mountain brew. So poor old Daly, Katie, she decided not a good place to stay. So she moves to Chicago and does very well for quite a few years until this little guy shows up who's got more guns than her by the name of Al Capone. So she had to leave. So she moved to San Francisco, doing well in San Francisco till she crossed the mob down there and the FBI were after her. And they, they arrested her and stuck her in jail and she went to Alcatraz. And she was the only woman that ever went to Alcatraz. And guess who was in Alcatraz at the same time? Al Capone. Yeah. Try <laughs> something. Anyway, she died there. So let's see what the song's about. She got immortalized in a song. Called, Come on down the mountain, Katie Daly. Oops. So listen carefully to the words. <laughs> what key do we do this in? G. from San Francisco, long-haired hippies, but boy, did they ever write good music. And this is one of the songs that they wrote. It was called Fly Away Home. Mm. 
from um, Gibson Brothers, wasn't it? Gibson Brothers. And it's called Sweet Little Miss Blue Eyes. Who makes me forget all the other girls I've ever met but Sweet Little Miss Blue Eyes.
pack up there with Walsh. And Walsh trying to sting her. He stung her on the arm. Let's keep up, we're going to have to stop. <laughs> okay. Something, it must be a fabric softener in my sweater or something. Okay. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just tracking it. Hanging around you. we got something we can swat him with. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Pest control. I can't seem to ignore it. It doesn't want to... Sorry about this, but she can't play with her watch going out of it. Look at it. Anybody got a wasp killer? <laughs> oh! <laughs> no. Missed. No. We now have one very irate wasp. <laughs> Sorry about this. We'll, uh, we seem that, to was scare really, that was really entertaining, right? <laughs> we seem to have frightened it away now. Yes, an old Bel Bill Monroe song called Lynn. Linda Lou. So this goes out to anybody named Linda that might be out in the crowd there tonight. Especially his wife who's sitting <laughs> over there. <laughs> Sing another one then. No. <laughs> this song <laughs> would be famous because it was one of the first songs written and recorded by Bill Monroe, and it was also the first song ever recorded by Elvis Presley. It's called Blue Moon of Kentucky. You now, when Bill Monroe first recorded it, it was a slow song, and but when Elvis recorded it, he speeded it up a bit. So. 
I'm going to do uh, a little bit slower and a little bit fast. We call it our half fast version of the song. <laughs> some insect spray here. <laughs> just, you'll get it under violin, we'll take the burn straight up. Yeah, we'll get it on hand. So the next song we're gonna do when uh, when Janice finished ghosting herself up there with some insect spray <laughs> is one we got to turn into the bluegrass police for because uh, of it not being an actual bluegrass song. This one was made famous by the birds, if you remember them, a number of years ago. And the song was called Mr. Spaceman, and uh, it's, uh, it's, we've got to do a bluegrassy version of yeah. it, so it sounds pretty bluegrass to me, but... Uh... Oh, that smells nice. Oh, now they'll be coming She smells pretty good now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, not before. <laughs> I feel a little dizzy. <laughs> Oh, 
woke up this morning, I was feeling quite weird. There was flies in my beer, and my toothpaste was smeared. Over my window, then written my name. Said so long, we'll see you again. Hey, Mr. Spaceman, won't you please take me along? I won't do anything wrong. Hey. Well, bluegrass music is made up of death and destruction and dying and dog leaving and wife leaving and, and uh, it wouldn't be complete without the, the, the baddie, you know, the highway person. And uh, this is a song about John Hardy who held a train up and killed somebody in the, on the Deadwood train. Of course, they, uh, they catch him and they try him and they string him up. You know, it's always a good ending to the bluegrass stuff. <laughs> so this is called John Hardy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whether you know anything about a, a banjo, but you know it's got see it's got five strings, but um, it, we tune it to what's called the key of G. So if you want to sing a song in a different key, like this thing. Uh, songs in the key of A, so I have to put this metal thing on here, change it to A, but I've got this fifth string that runs along here, and it's got pegs all the way down here, so I have to peg that string to get it to the same one as that one. There you go. Quite complicated. <laughs> well, hey, that's something you didn't know before. Oh, yeah. So we're all going to rush out and buy one for Christmas, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
two. All right. Here's a tune called Pain My Heart. Well, it sounds very sad. No, no it's but it's about a guy sad. who's messing around with a married woman. Uh huh. Ooh. Right, bad man, bad man, lady over here. <laughs> I know it hardly ever happens. No, it hardly ever happens. Anyway, when he gets caught, he says, well, it wasn't my fault. You know, I don't even know how many times you heard that one. Never. Right. He didn't mean it to happen. Yeah. There's, a, there's a door slamming in this song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to do it all by myself. <laughs> That's right. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> There's somebody knocking on the door to get in. Okay. Pain in my heart. song for years and they still can't bang it together back right there. <laughs> Unless it's two doors closing, you know, one out the front, one out the back. <laughs> well, I'm thinking somebody knocking on the door to come in. Oh, that's the other. Oh, yeah, that's the other. I'll get that one. <laughs> no, here comes the sucker. Hey! <laughs> this one, this is an old Jim Reeves song, as a matter of fact, and it's, it's all about uh, some poor sucker is going to end up with my girlfriend, so it's, uh, it's called Yonder Comes you a Sucker. You hear that, Linda? But <laughs> isn't it good riddance? It's, it's a good riddance it's song, good yeah. It's a good riddance song. He's well done. And it's called Yonder Comes a Sucker. And she's gone, 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 and she's gone, 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 and I've been 
may think that I am true. There's plenty more who think so too. Railroad, steamboat, river, and canal. Yeah, there comes a sucker and he stole my gal. And she's gone, gone, gone. And she's gone, gone, gone. And I bid her my last farewell. This and some people think we haven't, so we'll, we'll find out pretty soon. Yeah. Song about a guy who's being mistreated by a lady and he's always crying. What a wuss. So, teardrops in my eyes. Sheesh. Some of these songs I sing are just pathetic, I tell you. <laughs>
pressure, I come up to do another one. <laughs> I love collecting songs from the old Civil War days, and uh, here's one called Pretty Little, Pretty Little Miss. Banjo weighs four pounds and this thing weighs 18 and a half pounds. It's like a brick around my neck. Anyway, gonna carry on with a song I got from Del McCurry. Ah, I forgot the feeling I bet. Yeah, uh, it's called I'm Afraid, I Forgot the Feeling. That's another good written song. Another good written song. <laughs> Yeah. 
see you. Thank you. Oh, oh, handsome Molly. Well, no set would be uh, complete without a, a, a sea shanty. And this is a song called Handsome Molly. Of course, Handsome Molly's treacherous. <laughs> you may have caught that theme in our last song. They're all treacherous in oh, bluegrass. Right. <laughs> story they uh, <laughs> yeah, well, some people believe it and this all happened in Boston and they uh, wanted to put up the fare on the subway from uh, 10 cents to 15 cents and they did it one weekend when a fellow named Charlie went for a ride on the on the train he only took 10 cents with him so this is the story of what happened to him
<laughs> hey, they're gonna let me sing another one too. Oh yeah. Oh, not yet. Oh, too blue to cry. Ooh, what keeps saying? No, I thought we were doing. Too oh blue yeah, too blue. <laughs> D. D. All right. He says, what key is it? And I pull a letter out of my head, like that. You wrote this, didn't you? This is another one I wrote, yeah. And it's a pretty sad song. It's all about being just too blue to cry, even. But we give it a nice little tune. Yes. This is really well rehearsed, this one. There we go. Don't we, don't we? He's telling me, till we don't rehearse. <laughs> I live in Victoria, Guy lives way up in Port Alberti, and uh, Bob here lives in Shemina, so it's a little hard to get together. <laughs> tune called Honey Put the Baby Down. It's not actually killing the baby, it's uh, they want to take it around to the mother and she's going to put it in the crib and put it down while they go out dancing out of bluegrass band. Honey yeah. Put the Baby Down. Honey Put the Baby Down. Put the baby down. Oh, no. It's this. Oh, baby. Yeah, <laughs>
Money puts a baby there. Someone like you. Someone like you. Oh, this is a lovely love song. I got this from um, a fellow in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Art Blackburn. And the chorus goes, tired of being so lonely, tired of being so blue. Being so alone, no one to call my own. And I need to find somebody like you. It's a lovely song, I like it. Some more of the other banjo. Fed up with this one. <laughs> Got out of tune. He finds that one, I guess, a little heavy to carry. He's not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> it's his birthday the other day. It was my birthday the other day. Bob sent me a card. It said, You know when you're getting old when you wear black sock with sandals. Well, guess what I was wearing? <laughs> black socks and sandals. <laughs> Okay. 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 I got it. Alright, here we go. Brilliant little mess.
Let's we try white print liners, shall we? This is a, a song all about a white freight liner, but it's written by uh, Towns Van Zandt. And uh, he had a bit of a problem with white stuff. He stuck up his nose, so it's um, it's a kind of a dual meaning song, I think, this one. But white freight liner. I'm going down the highway. What's up? Can't hear us? No. Yell at that guy, not us. <laughs> turn up another way. Okay. Get feedback if I turn up anymore. How's this? Okay, okay. okay. okay we've got to get closer. Right. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> you want to hear my banjo louder? Uh, <laughs> oh, you're my buddies. <laughs> Here's a good old tune from the Grateful Dead called Hot Corn Cold Corn. Yeah. 
guys. Ten two. One more? No, you got a lot. Oh, okay, great. I still miss you. You know that one? Yeah. Here's a song about a, a guy who's in pain and he's walking down the street. And, um, you know, your friends come along and what do they say to you? Hi, hello, how are you? And what do you always say? I'm fine. You know, and you go home and you're, in, you're hurting. And um, when you go into your bed and you turn out that light and you miss that thing or person or dog, Night after night after night. Yeah. Women and dogs. Women and dogs. I don't know what to do without women and dogs. <laughs> Golden rule in dating. Never, never get hooked up with a woman who has a dog. Because she comes second. They love their little poochies. And, you know, I've got friends, lady friends, who love yeah. dogs. And they love their poochies. Uh, you know. All right. Okay, All right, get on. Put one of your mouth down. Okay, ready? Got a hard bit here, so. song about 20 years ago from a, a CD my son sent me from Australia, written by Ned Kelly, who's the great, great, great grandson of, um, you know, the great highway robber. Uh, was it? He was Ned he, Kelly. He too. was Ned Kelly. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, sweet Sally Brown. Yeah. All right, there's another good tune we got from this one's from Ralph Stanley, the great Ralph Stanley. It's all about a five-year-old boy who's madly in love with a 17-year-old girl. Uh huh. And she didn't have the time of day for him. Anyway, he loves her. Well, sweet Sally Brown. So we're going to finish up with a, a, a great old bluegrass tune. Once again, this was written by Bill Monroe called Kentucky Girl. <coughs> Thank you. 
Thanks to everybody. <laughs>